Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Some time back, I made a video on how to get CarPlay on Dodge and Chrysler's. And, you know, it's a pretty good feature. It works. It does its thing. You can pair it up, get YouTube, Netflix, etc. Uh, but there's one major flaw with getting this. And I'm not sure if you can hear it for right now, but I'm going to put it closer to the speaker. You get a crazy static noise when there's no music playing at like full volume or even when you have it at full volume with music you could faintly hear it in the back let me put you to a speaker so you can hear it up all right that was that sound and yes that sound drove me nuts for uh, i believe i have this for a year now and i finally taken time to you know figure out what that issue was and uh whew, it was a pretty easy find once i found it i was like wow why didn't i start there you know I started off with the grounds, with the power, etc. But like three hours in, I finally figured out what it was. And I know this is gonna relieve all of y'all's, you know, just annoying sound. Uh, I know for me it did it, man. I feel so relieved after I found it, but all right. So anyways, let's get to it. So from your Joy Auto, the one that connects to the RB5, you have this white harness and this white harness has these three cables which this is your factory aux and i just pre-wired it like this because I'm, I'm gonna tell you what in a little bit but essentially it's just one wire that it goes to this one combines with this other one the audio in and goes into the receiver so you have two auxes going in one and the other one is up here but that one comes out from the joy auto device into it uh, outputs audio okay so now the issue is here that since you have two sources to get aux from, the system's creating the sound. So this one, you're still getting signal from your stock aux. Regardless if there's noise or no noise, it's still getting some type of signal. And, you know, it could be faint, but since most of these cars have amplifiers, you know, obviously it amplifies it and makes it what it is right now. So the only issue on how to fix this is chopping this off. Once you chop this off, the only aux uh, in that would be happening would be from the Joy Auto. Now, there is a downside to this. I haven't confirmed it yet, but I'm pretty sure that that's gonna happen. By doing this, your factory aux, you won't be able to uh, input any audio. But I mean, you know, you bought a Joy Auto device, so I'm pretty sure none of y'all will use aux even, you know? We have wireless CarPlay now, wireless Android Auto. But that'll be the only downside. I haven't confirmed this again, but I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't use aux at all, so it's not. A, it doesn't bother me at all. Now, I already cut it, so all I have to do is just yank this and watch. Watch the magic happen. Put the camera right here. Voila! It went away completely. It's a huge difference. Now you still hear like a little click, 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 click. That's normal. That was already there from the, when the car was factory. It's a full volume, you know, it's understandable. But that static white noise, whatever you want to call it, it's finally gone. So this right here, again, chop this cable off. It's these three at the top, it's a red, white, and black. It goes to here, just chop it off. You don't need it. And that'll guarantee be your fix, just like me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut both ends off you know put some tape wrap it make it look nice but this was the issue guys can't believe it took me this long but this is the fix but yeah you know if you want to know some more details about this or you get stuck whatsoever you know just comment down below and i'll help you guys out and you know if i find anything else for the future i'll keep it posted